you want to see head-to-head -head racing but in the circumstances the organizers feel that this is a solution that's fair to everybody We'll try and take you through this one as best as we can. And that looks like Shafoni Houston of Grenada. On your marks. Competitor 265, she goes in lane number six. Sir. Off they go. Section one of two on the 17 girls 400. Made the finals. Grenada's Shaponi Houston taking things out hard and goes through the first 200 meters well to the good. Now the rest of the field will have to chase Shaponi Houston. Does she have enough to hold on down the stretch? Houston with the lead. All about time here. She's been chased all the way. But Houston holding strong. Drop her into the gold medal position after section one. Had to go for it from early. Set the pace and trust her training. Flash time 56.95. She's won her final, but doesn't know if she's won the gold medal yet. Lanes five. Six, seven, and eight used with four people in this semi in this section. I'd have put them in a couple lanes to use three, four, five, six, seven. Houston with an official time of 57.06. So all these ladies will have to wait to see exactly where they line up for the gold, the silver, and the bronze. Well, we see this at the NCAA championships indoors all the time time the finals over 400 meters and even over 200 meters but what they tend to do there is is seed those sections so you have a slow section and a fast section this one appears to be an attempt to make it more evenly balanced let's see yeah let's see how that plays out Shaponi Houston wins the first of two sections 400 meter finals for under 17 girls. Again, not my preferred solution, but circumstances From alter cases. Davis. You want to see head to head races. And uh, if you're right, Ricardo, and the second section is the fast section, maybe we will get it. I just love how Hubert Lawrence is always so diplomatic. <laughs> Jamaica, 57.054 Houston of Grenada. I wonder when Hubert Lawrence is going to start his political career. Not for a while yet. <laughs> track and field too much fun. I might miss track meets. <laughs> Maybe you could run for track and field president. Have the here. Might miss too many track meets. <laughs> <laughs> Not my cup of tea. It's, it's much more fun to be where I am, doing what I do, for me anyway. 
girls coming out for section two on the 17 400 final as the lineup Gallimore and Daly, both of Jamaica, Thomas of St. Kitts and Nevis, Dickinson of Bermuda, Tiana Springer of Guyana. Daly comes in 53.61 this season, having an outstanding season at 400 meters. And uh, in this second section, she's got the speed. The time to shoot at 57.05 in that field as well. Ladies with 54 second seasons best as well. So you're right. Ricardo, this section on paper, faster, the race not run on paper, they've got to go and do it. 57.05 is what they will be chasing. Feel pretty confident that three girls in this field will run faster than that, but you never know. Today, as an example alone, we've seen stranger things. Wow. Dramatic. Day in the 100 meters with presumptive favorites out watching this at a distance at this moment. So the stadium announcer not explaining why they have two sections of the under 17 girls 400 meters. Part of the explanation is that there was a protest which I am not surprised about. It is only natural that that would have happened. And so here we are. Section two of the women's 400 meters. Under 17. So they ended up with nine competitors. But of course, they only have this track can only accommodate nine competitors Under in a straight. straight. Not all the way around. See, a lot of the, I want to use the term modern loosely, tracks with nine lanes all the way around. There's the Ketishan Deshane Thomas. One medal already today for St. Kitts and Nevis. They would love to have a second here. On the marks. On the 17 girls, 400 finals, section two of two. Set. Off they go. 57.05 is the time to beat. Two Jamaicans in the lineup. Jody and Daly and Rosalie Gallimore. Daly has gone out quickly. The Ketishan, Dictionary Thomas, also moving well to the first 200 meters. She looks really good in qualifying, Dictionary Thomas. And she's looking strong again in this final. Bermudas, Dickinson, also trying to get into the picture. Down the stretch they come. Jody and Daly of Jamaica, ahead of Deshane Thomas. The Guyanese finishing fast as well. Springer, Springer on the outside. Springer steps forward and strikes gold for Guyana. 54-25 on the clock. She timed it beautifully. We didn't get the chance to see her in qualifying. It's been a long road, some would say a long flight to this gold, but she has it. What a moment for this Guyanese young lady. Wow, big, big finish to get past the top two who seem to be running away to gold and silver. Never over till it's over. And Springer steps up to take gold for Guyana. Really, really a dramatic finish, knowing that she had to do a qualifier with just one other competitor just earlier on, knowing that this is what actually um, caused the two heat final. And so I think maybe she felt some pressure to perform and do well. 
A She's lot well of back the running done in curve. the last 150, Hubert. Yes, well back as they started to turn towards the grandstand straight away. On the outside, she'll disappear from the picture in a second. Now, here she comes, charging Thomas, second, daily, first. Springer goes past Thomas and keeps on hustling to get past daily, who sees her too late to react. Gold for Guyana. Wow. So, Confirmation 54 32 for Tiana Springer of Guyana, 54 81 for Jody and Daly of Jamaica, and the bronze medal to Deschanel Thomas of St. Kitts and Nevis, 55 46. She beat a late arrival, she beat a protest, and now she has beaten the field to secure Carifta on the 17 goal. Tiana Springer of Guyana. What a story to tell for many years to come. And if Donald Oliver were doing a Carifta 50 story this year, like he did Carifta 49, that race would have taken quite a portion of it. Dramatic again. A day full of questions and injuries and surprises. And Springer right up there with the best of it. 400 finals out the way. We have the 200 heptathlon, we have the 400 octathlon to come before the 100 finals. Scintillating stuff expected in those 100 finals. Long jump on the 17 boys in the closing stages. Would love to get an update on what's happening in that event as far as the leaders are concerned, the, those in the medal positions. All right. Beautiful. We well, hope you're enjoying yourself on this cool Nassau evening. There's competitor one, two, four, Kenny Moxie Jr. of the Bahamas. Best of 6.23 came in the third round. Takes off just behind the board. Almost went off into a karate sideways kick. But gets over six meters. Twist in the air. 